Lesson 26 homework. Number one, solve and support your answer with a model or tape diagram. Write your quotient in the blank. One half divided by one fourth. I'm going to draw a tape diagram. And what we have is I'm going to split this into half because we have one half. And we're going to take that one half. So I'm going to redraw it down here. We're going to take that one half and I'm going to split it into four equal pieces. And I'm going to continue all the way. So this one half right here that I split into four, if I split into four equal pieces, this would be one half divided by four, that piece right there. Which is equal to, in the whole tape diagram, would be equal to one out of, let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have one eighth. B, we have one third divided by six. So I'm gonna draw a tape diagram and split it in two thirds. And then we're gonna take that one third and I'm gonna split that into sixths. So one third divided by six, we have this one piece right here. Out of, if I were to draw the entire tape diagram and split each of the thirds into six, I would have 18 pieces, so it's equal to 1 18th. C, we have 1 fourth divided by 3. I'm going to split it into fourths, and then this fourth I'm going to split into thirds. So we were looking for this piece right there. In the whole tape diagram, if I split each one into thirds, I have one out of total 12. So it's equal to one twelfth. In the last one, one fifth divided by two. So I'm going to split it into fifths first. And then each piece, I'm splitting into two. So one-fifth divided by two is this piece right here. But in the entire tape diagram, I need to split each fifth into two. And so I'll have one out of ten, or one-tenths. Number two, divide, then multiply to check. 1 half divided by 10. So here, what we're going to do is I'm always going to make the numerator what we're dividing by. So we have 10, and we need to make the numerator of 10 be equal to 1 half. So 1 half is equal to 10 twentieths, and we're going to divide that by 10. So that's equal to 10 divided by 10 over 20. And 10 divided by 10 is equal to 1 20th. And if we multiply to check, we get 1 20th times 10 would be equal to 10 20ths or 1 half. So there's our check. B, 1 4th divided by 10. So again, I'm going to make it 10 over 40 because I want my numerator to be 10. We're going to divide that by 10, so that would be equal to 10 divided by 10 over 40, which is equal to 1 40th. And our check would be 1 40th times 10 is equal to 10 40ths, and 10 40th is equal to 1 4th. C, 1 3rd divided by 5. I'm going to make it 5 fifteenths, because that's equivalent to 1 third, divided by 5 would be 5 divided by 5 over 15, which is equal to 1 fifteenth. And my check 
it would be 1 15th times 5 is equal to 5 fifteenths or 1 third. D, 1 fifth divided by 3. So we have 1 fifth, I'll make that 3 fifteenths divided by 3 is equal to 3 divided by 3 over 15 or 1 fifteenth. And our check is 1 fifteenth times 3 is equal to 3 fifteenths or 1 fifth. Now, you might be noticing a pattern here. 1 half divided by 10 is 1 twentieth. 1 fourth divided by 10 is 1 fortieth. Do you see how when we're multiplying the denominator by our whole number, that gives us our new denominator, and the numerator is always one, because we're multiplying by a unit fraction, or dividing by a unit fraction, meaning the numerator is one. So what we can do here is just multiply. We know that our numerator is gonna be one because we have a unit fraction. Eight times four is 32, so it's equal to one thirty-second. We can still do our check of 1 32nd times 4 equals 4 32nds, which is equal to 1 8th. F, 1 7th divided by 3 would be equal to 1 over 7 times 3, 1 21st. And our check is 1 21st times 3 equals 3 21st. And we reduce that to 1 7th. G, 1 tenth divided by 5 would be 1, 10 times 5 is 50th. So 1 50th times 5 is 5 50ths or 1 tenth. And the last one, 1 fifth divided by 20 would be 1, 5 times 20 is 1 one hundredth. So we have 1 one hundredth times 20 would be equal to 20 one hundredths or 1 Number three, teams of four are competing in a quarter mile relay race. Each runner must run the same exact distance. What is the distance each teammate runs? So it's a team of four, and they're competing in a quarter mile, so one fourth mile relay race. Each runner is running the same distance. So they're running a total of one fourth distance and they're dividing it into four equal pieces. So if we wanna draw a picture, we have this one-fourth that we're splitting into four equal pieces. So just each person runs that amount out of a total mile. So this piece right here would be one-sixteenth. So each person is running one-sixteenth of a mile. Number four, Solomon has read one-third of his book. He finishes the book by reading the same amount each night for five nights. What fraction of the book does he read each of the five nights? So he's read a third of the book, and he finishes the book. So if he's read a third, that means that he finishes two-thirds, or the rest, by reading the same amount each night for five nights. So what fraction of the book does he read each of the five nights? So let's draw a picture. So here is the entire length of the book. He's read one third of the book, which means that he needs to read this much left, two thirds. So if he reads the same amount each night for five nights, let's split each of these into five nights. So he would read that much and that much each night. And this is also split into fifths, but he's already read it. So this is gonna help us figure out our fraction. So we have actually two thirds divided by five would be equal to, we have two places shaded and one from each of the thirds, two out of a total 15. So he needs to read two fifteenths each night. If he reads 14 pages on each of the five nights, how long is the book? So he reads 14 pages 
each of those five nights. So let's figure out what that would be. Five times one is five plus two is 70. So 70 is equal to two thirds of the book. We wanna know how long the entire book is. So if 70 is equal to two thirds, then half of that would be equal to one third, which is what we still have left to figure out. So these two pieces are 70 pages. We wanna know how much that is. So we can do that by doing 70 divided by two. 70 divided by two is equal to 35 pages. So if we add the 70 plus 35, we get 105 pages in the entire book.